Hello and welcome to the finale of Donkey Kong 64. It is time to bring the game to 101% completion and defeat King K. Rule themselves. So, we got the key from Creepy Castle in the last episode. Let's go inside warp number one here, go into K. Lumsey's place and get that lock unlocked and see what that does for us. This is lock number seven out of eight. The key is already in. Let's twist it. Oh, he's so happy, dude. And as you saw right there, at the very top of K. Rule Isle, the mouth is now open and we can go inside. I just want to go over here to show that there is one more key to get to unlock lock number eight. This final stage is not going to be a normal stage. It's going to be something very different. So let's go ahead and get to it. Now you might have noticed, well, we're starting as Tiny Kong. And the reason for that is we need her to actually get up there. We have to go and use the monkey port at the back of K. Rule Isle here. That'll get us up top. Let's go ahead and do some ponytail twirl. Probably gonna have to swim a little bit there. That's totally fine. So we've already taken this monkey port before to get a banana fairy and I think a golden banana as well. Let's go ahead and take it again. We'll use this one to get inside. So we'll go down right over here. And now that the mouth is completely open on this little section, we can hop right inside. Thanks, Tiny Kong, your portion is done. So we'll go inside here, check out the lobby. Oh my gosh, so much lava. We've got a Chunky Kong pad right there. We've got some stuff for Donkey Kong over there as well. That is the final blueprint in the entire game. Let's go ahead and swap over to Donkey. Let's go get that crud. The first thing I want to do is to shoot this target way off in the distance. I'm not even going to snipe, dude. I'm going to go long shot right here. It'll take a while for the coconut to travel, but eventually it will hit that coconut target. And after we hit that one, a bridge will appear to get that blueprint. And also, well, not also, we're just gonna go ahead and go get this guy. Let's go whip out our gun again. And okay, let's just keep on shooting him. Here we go, guys. The final blueprint in the entire game. Now, if you're playing along, I would recommend going and taking that to Snide right now, because it is gonna do something important. Alongside the golden banana, it will affect the next stage slightly, but I'm not gonna do that quite yet. For the purpose of this video, it'll be more convenient to show it later, and once we get there, you'll see why. So go ahead and grab warp number one there. Now let's go over, and we're going to swap over to Chunky Kong, and use that Chunky Kong pad. We've also got some homing ammo right here, might as well grab that. Not super important, but I mean, it's there. So once we take this one, that will make a bunch of vines appear right here, but on the left side, you can see the final golden banana barrel for DK Isles. Once we get that, we just have to turn in the blueprint, and we are up to 200. So yeah, we're very, very close here, guys. Let's go get to it. And thankfully, this is not more beaver bother. Welcome Instead, we're just going to have some more Kremlin Kosh. I like this one, so yeah, we'll go get to it. It's going to mostly focus on the green guys, probably. The red ones, you have to react super quickly. I am uh, not that great at reacting quickly. I mean, I feel like my reaction speeds are not too bad, but the problem is you have to uh, go to the spot. Hopefully, you're not already mid-shot on some other one. And uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty tough, those red ones. Oh, kind of missing the green ones as well here. Gonna have to speed up a bit. Okay, let's at least focus on two here. Okay, get that guy. Man, we're uh, not doing super great, but I think we're on pace to still win here. Those red ones are taunting me. I, yeah, it, what happens, unless you're like really w waiting for the red guys, you're just not gonna have enough time. I'll get the next red one. There we go. Oh, I still, that was still too slow, man. You gotta be fast for those crud's. Right, let's focus on some greens, get these last four points here. Okay, I'm hurrying, dude. You don't need to rush me. Two more. Two more. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. I cut that one a little bit close, guys. But we're fine. We're fine. So with that, guys, the final golden banana for Chunky Kong. We have one more on Donkey, and then we are up to 200 golden bananas. Let's get back over this way now. and Let's go and get to the stage itself. Now, you might have noticed the bee locker over there. Well, we're going to have to... What the crap? Get over there, Chunky. We're going to have to get up to 100 golden bananas to open this guy, but we have way more than enough. So let's go and talk to him. Come on, I haven't got all day. Show me the bananas and I'm out of this. Oh, 
All right, man. We got 100. So away he goes. We'll grab warp one. So now other Kongs can get across the lava as well. Let's just open this door and go inside and get some cutscene action. And here we are. This is why the blueprints have been so important throughout the game. Let's go talk to Snide. Here's the deal, Kong. The blueprints you found have allowed me to block the Blastomatics firing sequence for 49 minutes. I believe it starts at 10 minutes, and then for each blueprint you found throughout the game, it goes up by one. This is why you might have wanted to turn in that last one, because then you'd be at 50 minutes, but uh, we're going to rock it with 49. It should be more than enough time. So yes, this level is going to be on a timer. But let's go ahead and get started, guys. We can't be wasting any time. We've only got 49 minutes. Now, this should be way more than enough. So we're going to go ahead and knock out this guy, I suppose. Oh, or he'll just dodge me. Uh, right over here, we've got ourselves a tag barrel. So we're not going to have to worry about collecting any kind of colored bananas or anything like that. We just have to get through the challenges and make our way to, to the end here. Let's go use Lanky Kong to get up this slope. And once we're up here, we'll just... uh. I guess swap back over to someone else. So right up this way on this side, we're going to have another tag barrel. This time we want to go to Tiny Kong. We're going to need her to shrink down for something here. Pretend I didn't just swap to Tiny Kong. I actually meant to do Chunky Kong. Don't worry, guys. It's not like we're on a timer or anything like that. So we have to go over and actually use Chunky Kong because right over here, we're going to have a pineapple target. Let's go and shoot that crud. And that'll drop this wall down. I don't know why they had such a thick wall, but there we go. We knocked it down. Let's go ahead and put away our crud. And now we're going to have to get across some vines. We already had to use Chunky Kong to get across vines to even enter the stage, but more vines, more lava. I guess that's Chunky Kong's specialty. Go ahead and... Oh, if you line that up right, you can actually jump on that dude's head. But right over this way, now we're going to want to swap over to Tiny Kong. She can shrink down and go inside the pipes here. Yeah, even when you're inside the tag barrel, the timer is not going to stop. Uh, it will stop, though, if you go to the pause menu. So you can still pause. If you gotta go take a dump or something, you're fine. But, yeah, the timer is gonna keep going during most of the animations here. Let's go ahead and shrink down. And right over here, there's the pipe we want to go inside. Of course, once we get to it, it's gonna take control. And we're gonna have a little going through the pipe cutscene. It should be just fine. Dude, that critter was gonna try to run up behind me. And now we're gonna get to a very, very important room. Let's unshrink here. And this room is going to have a bunch of doors surrounding it. Let's go ahead and swap over to Donkey Kong, because he's going to do something very, very important here. Over on the opposite side, there's going to be a lever. So we're going to go and pull that crud. Come on, Donkey, your special ability, pulling levers. So once we pull this one, you'll see what's going to happen. We've got all these different doors around. They have numbers. They've got some colors on them as well. And once we pull this lever, it's going to make these DK symbols appear up in the air. What we have to do is swap over to Diddy Kong. Well, the game kind of spoils it right there. You swap over to Diddy Kong. We have to use the rocket barrel to fly through those. And we are on a limited timer here. Let's go on over. Swap over to Donk. And not Donk. You swap over to Diddy. So if we go inside here, we're going to have infinite crystal coconuts. Oh, I could have flew right up into that one, but yeah, well. Yeah, we do have infinite crystal coconuts. So that's not a concern. Only concern here is running out of time. I mean, not running out of that 46 minutes. That, that's going to be more than enough time. But that one-minute clock we have, yeah, that one's a bit a bit more tight. But it shouldn't be too bad here. Fly through that. And this should be the last one right above where we started. And there we go. Once we get through that, all of these doors are going to open up. But you might notice they've got some gates in front of them. So we're going to have to go to uh, Chunky Kong to actually knock those open. But first, let's go and fly to the top. Because up here, we're going to have ourselves an arena battle pad. Let's go, Diddy. And this is a bit evil, guys, because we're going to not stop that timer this whole time while we're in here. That crud is still ticking away, and we've got 90 seconds on this clock. So it is uh, pretty wild. But again, the fact that we've got 49 minutes to start with, 
from all of those blueprints we've collected really helps out a lot. So I'm really not too worried about it. Unless we start making some really significant mistakes, we should end with like 20 plus minutes still on the clock here. Just keep knocking out some dudes. Yeah, we've dealt with the splats quite a lot. You guys have seen how I like to deal with them during these things. I just go back and forth, knock them over. And eventually on this one, because this is kind of a special, a special one here. Whoa, buddy! We do not want to get knocked down. That would waste a lot of time. But eventually there will be a third Kasplat on this one as well. So that will make things a little bit more tricky. But the third Kasplat does not show up until nearly at the end. So it's not going to affect us too much. We'll probably only have to kill that third Kasplat one time. Uh-oh. Yeah, those shockwaves are really scary. I'm going to try to knock these guys down here. Come on, come on. Okay, let's do some regular attacks there, I guess. Kind of falling apart here, but we have only 25 seconds left. As long as I can keep from falling into the pit, everything's going to be just fine. Just fine, Diddy. Let's see if I can get this cycle going again. As long as I can stop the shockwaves, everything else is pretty easy to deal with. Oh, there's that third spot I was talking about. But I already got one of the Kasplats knocked down, so I'm still only dealing with two at a time. Looks like another one is popping up, though. As soon as that timer runs out, these guys will get knocked out. And there we go. So we'll grab that crown. Thankfully, we did not get knocked off the platform at all. And let's hop on out here. Now, the door that opened, all those doors that opened, we could go to Diddy Kong's right now because his does not require Chunky Kong. However, we have to do them in the order that those numbers were on the door. And, well, you can't do them any other order because you can't actually get inside the rooms unless you do them in order. So we're going to swap over to Donkey because he was on number one. But actually, we need to go and punch down those fences first. So we'll go over to Chunky and we'll just go around the room and punch down four of these. So we'll go and punch that one. And you might have saw a glimpse of what was inside. We've got a banana medal inside there. Because at this point in the game, we have 35 out of 40 banana medals. And the last five, well, they are surrounding this room. So there is one for Tiny Kong, we've got one on the far side for Lanky Kong, and then there's one more down below which is going to be Donkey Kong. We have to beat all five of these side sections if we want to progress the game. Let's go ahead and knock that one down, and then right over this way is going to be the Donkey one. Did I already do it? No, I didn't. Okay, it just didn't load in there. So you can see Donkey is number one, and it has the bongo pad right there. All the other ones do not have the music pad quite yet. So after we defeat Donkey section, then on the second one, number two, which is Chunky Kong, his music pad will appear and then he can open up his section and so on. So let's go over to Donkey and let's get started, dude. These are all going to have some mini games we have to play, but they're things we have not played before and some of them can be pretty challenging. Well, let's play the bongos one more time, Donkey. Go ahead and knock those guys down and inside here we've got a couple of barrels so let's go ahead and jump in there and get to our first mini game now this one well wow it's Rambi. go bash some kremlings but watch out for the pa pa uh, power pylons yes yeah, so we have to use Rambi the rhino here and go around and smack into these dudes if we touch any of those power pylons we are going to fail the mission and you might have noticed while you're reading the tutorial while this mission's going on the whole time that timer for the stage is still going we just have to be very careful here guys because if you run into an enemy it actually kind of launches you forward slightly so if you hit an enemy right in front of a pylon you'll just like run right into it un uncontrollably so you gotta be very careful but there we go we got them knocked out really fun little mini game there once we get out, it's going to destroy that barrel, except now we have to go over and defeat this one. So each Kong is going to have to play two mini games. over inside this one. Yeah, we've got some barrel blasting. Hey, Donkey, jump into the ba barrel. Yep, yeah, okay, so let's hop inside. And we have to hit these three targets on the walls. There's that first one. The second one, we can kind of hit really quickly, so I'm, I'm going to go right for it. Did I get it? No, I missed it there. That might be, that might be curtains for us, man. Let's try again. Okay, I think we can get to this last one in time as long as we don't miss any more shots. The timer on this mission is very tight. You can only miss like once, probably not twice. There we go, got that one done. So Donkey's portion is completed, and what that's going to do is unlock this banana metal, and now we can go grab it without even having to get 75 colored bananas. If you try to grab it before that uh, force field thing goes down, you will take damage, so you have to wait for that crud. But now the Chunky Kong one is activated. Thankfully, they give you a little cutscene to give you a heads up of which Kong is next. So you don't have to actually memorize the numbers on the doors or anything like that. Let's get back out of here. 
Let's run on down to the barrel, swap over to Chunky, and get to his door. His door is the one right over there next to the tag barrel, so very easy to find. Let's swap on over. Come on, Chunky! Your final challenge, dude. Let's get in there, dude. So one more time, let's go play some triangle. <laughs> Here we go. Knock out all those enemies. Did I not play it on the pad? Oh my gosh. Okay, one more time. Let's play that triangle, Chunky. There we go. We opened that door. So now we can go inside and we can play these mini games. Yeah, pretty evil that the clock does not pause even while you're playing instruments, dude. So right inside here. You'll like this one, Chunky. Just find the hidden Kremlin. Yeah, this one's kind of evil, so you have to go inside the Hunky Chunky, and then we have to primate punch these side boxes and hopefully find the hiding guy. And if we find him, then we win, but if we don't find him, then we'd lose. Oh, that was him. Okay. Come here, you crud. Oh, gosh. Yeah, there we go. See, so, yeah, there's four boxes in that room, and sometimes you have to break all of them. But that time we got lucky, only got it, uh, got it on our second try there. Let's go on over. Let's check out the second Chunky mission. And for this one, well, we're gonna have to do some shooting, and they're gonna suggest that I use the sniper here, but I'm not really a fan of the sniper in this situation, so I'm just gonna not use that crud. And thankfully, we got some homing ammo that we picked up on the outside before we entered Hideout Helm, so that will really help out here a lot. You can do it without the homing ammo, but the homing ammo just helps so much, so it's good to try to hold on to it for that particular mission there. All right, Chunky Kong is done. Let's grab that banana medal. And this is final one. So this will bring us up to 37 out of 40 banana medals. You know, this section kind of always reminded me of Ganon's castle from uh, Zelda Ocarina of Time. This is not when you kind of had to go around to separate challenge rooms and do something very similar. So I wonder if this section was inspired by that. I would not be surprised at all. Let's go through here. And next up is going to be Tiny Kong. So let's go swap over to her. Tag barrel is on the other side. I kind of walked the wrong way there. Gosh dang it me. We'll go up here and then Tiny Kong's is slightly up the stairs. Yep, let's go right on over to Tiny. Yeah, it'll be Tiny and then Lanky and then Diddy Kong is last. And Diddy Kong's kind of special because one, we didn't have to punch his thing down with Chunky. But two, we also have to use the rock barrel to get to his. Let's play that saxophone. <laughs> Dude, the poor clump in the background there. So we'll knock that guy out, and we'll get to probably the most challenging, or probably either the first or second most challenging of all of these side missions. This one is pretty tricky, man. So we have to fly through these targets using our ponytail twirl, but we cannot touch the ground at all. And these boxes are slightly tricky to land on because of exactly that. You're kind of sl slippery right after landing with ponytail twirl, so you have to be very careful on the landing. And it might even be best to just completely not touch the joystick once you land. Just like that. So the first two are not too bad, but that third target, guys, that third target, we have to swoop to the side and then swoop on back. Wow, okay, we did that one first try. And we'll go on here, and you know what? That actually was not too bad. Compared to something like Beaver Bother, everything else in the game is pretty easy. So we got that one done. Now we'll go over and grab this one. Clump, you're blocking me, dude. He's blocking the entire camera. Now this one, once again, we have to use the ponytail twirl, but the timer is a lot less strict. And, well, I guess not the timer that's, that's the problem, but we don't have to worry about touching the floor. So this one is just so much more easy. I don't know why they made this one just tremendously easy compared to that last one, but yeah, this one is way easier. So there we go, guys. Tiny Kong is done. So six out of the 10 mini games we're gonna have to play are completed. And I should mention, the timer that we see right there will stop after all the minigames are done, so we can play the rest of the stage after this without having to worry about it. Yeah, next up is going to be Lanky Kong. So let's go and grab that banana medal. Just two more to get for the entire game. Not that we get anything special for getting all of them, but I th I'm pretty sure they do count towards the uh, completion counter, the 100% counter. So that's going to be important. Go ahead and hop back down this way. And once again, Linky Kong is going to be up the staircase there. Except unlike Tiny Kong, who is barely up the stairs, he, we have to go up, and then we have to go all the way over to the side. So Linky Kong kind of takes the longest to get to here. That's okay, Linky Kong. I don't mind having to play you for a little bit longer, dude. So we'll go right on through here. Let's go play that trombone one more time. I'm sure we'll never play the trombone again. Not a whole lot of trombone. Nope. Nope. <laughs> 
though. We're gonna see a lot of trombone. It it'll happen later on. Don't worry about that, though. Let's go inside, and let's get to first the Linky Kong minigame. One of these tends to give me trouble. Let me see if it's this one. I can't remember which one is which. Uh, on this side. Now, this one's really easy. Okay, so this one we just have to do a maze. It's on a timer. So we just go ahead and grab this. And what we're going to do is go right on down this way. We'll go to the right. And then we'll go to the left. And the hidden switch is right there. And then we just go to the other side. And that is the maze pretty much done. There you go. So that one's easy. The next one, in theory, shouldn't be too hard. But I always seem to struggle with it. So we'll go check it out. I do have some homing ammo. It, it is going to be shooting related, so maybe that tiny bit of homing ammo I have will help. Well, let's get inside. For this one, we're going to have to shoot three mechanical zingers. Blast the zingers! So these guys take two shots apiece. Yeah, that homing ammo is going to help out with two of them. Oh, I missed a shot there, actually. Let's go ahead and get that guy manually. Yeah, I missed a couple shots, but I guess we're fine. Let's go ahead and try to lead these shots. Come on, dude. I don't have any more homing ammo. If I restart, I have to do it without any. There we go. Uh, where's that last one? Okay. I'm just going to fire over that way, and hopefully one of these will hit. Come on, you crud. Let's lead those shots. Yeah, they kind of unpredictably turn around and crud. Oh, we got it, dude. I think I only had two seconds left on the clock, and we got it, man. All right. So there we go. Linky Kong is done as well, so let's go and grab his crud. And the last one we have is Diddy Kong, and in my opinion, Diddy Kong is pretty easy here. Yeah, there's Diddy's, but we're gonna we're gonna have to use the rocket barrel boost to get to that one. For now, let's go ahead and grab this one. I'm not exactly sure why they do it in this particular order, because Diddy Kong is kind of like the second Kong and Chunky's the last Kong, but they kind of have Chunky be number two and then Diddy's number five. I think it's probably because Diddy Kong uses the rocket barrel, so they put him last because of that for some reason. Let's go ahead and get over to Diddy Kong. Let's go hop inside that rocket barrel boost. And it's going to be pretty much directly above us. So we'll just boost right up here. And there it is, man. So go on over here. And let's go play that guitar one more time. Those poor clap traps. So let's get inside. Just two more challenges to go. And this clock will stop. I'm making pretty good time, man. And inside here... This one, we have to find the correct Kremlin and then hit the switch afterwards. Is it this one? No. This one? No. If you hit the correct one, it'll make a special sound. This one? No. Okay, I'm gonna start shooting. Come on, guys. Sound? Sound? There we go. It made the sound. I think I just destroyed all the Kremlings. Yeah, using your peanut pop guns there can help out a ton. Because you can hit them from a distance, of course. So yeah, that one's really not too bad. I think I got every single Kremlin in there. I guess wrong the entire time. And I still had 12 seconds left. All right, last one, guys. Here we go. So this one, we're going to have to blast up, shoot a few targets, and then hit that button in the middle. And that's all there is to it, man. And I should mention, if the timer in the actual stage gets to 30 minutes or less, it'll actually play a scary sound to, yeah, to try to scare us into, um, well, hurrying up, I guess. But I don't think we're going to have to hear no scary sounds, guys. I think we're going to beat this one in time. Get that one. Go over here and get this crud. And then we'll go hit the switch in the middle. And that's it, man. Yeah, I don't need no stinking 50 minutes. I don't got to turn in that final blueprint. No, dude. Go smack this one. And that is it, guys. All 10 of the side challenges are completed. So with that one, we'll grab the final banana medal in the entire game. We got all 35 the hard way by getting those colored bananas. And now we're going to get this final one right here in front of us. Oh, and I guess open the door too. That's pretty important. But there it is, guys. We are done with those crods. We can even go and look at our totals just to see how awesome it is. It's right over here. Got ourselves 40 out of 40. Oh, yeah, we also have 10 out of 10 for crowns because we just got that one. So that's another collectible done. Let's go get past these guys. Yeah, we'll see what those crowns actually do coming up here pretty soon. So let's go down. That newly opened door is right over this way. We'll stay on Diddy Kong. Might as well. Doesn't really matter at this point who we play. Let's go up through here. Yeah, Josh, just get up the stairs, dude. And we'll go right on through here. Now, once we get inside this room, I don't know why there's grenades there. We don't need those. We're going to have warp number one. So if we ever come back to the stage, we can really easily get back to this point. 
Now, right over here, this is what the crowns are for. We have to have four of them throughout the game to open up this door. The other six, you know, because there's ten in the game, the other six basically just count towards your 100% completion. So you only need four of them. I believe getting your first crown also will unlock some stuff in multiplayer back on the main menu. So that's kind of cool, too. But let's go ahead and open it up. Let's go through that four crown door. Yeah, I guess K rules trying to escape. You can't escape me, you crud. We'll go on through here. And through this way is the throne room where he was. This is where pretty much all of the cutscenes throughout the game have been taking place. And you might hear it right through there. We're going to have the final two banana fairies and the final key as well. The thing is, guys, right here, we have to have the Rare Rare coin and the Nintendo coin. So if you thought that playing Jetpack and playing the Donkey Kong Arcade were optional to beat the game, they are not, and it is super evil. You know, I thought I beat this game as a kid, but today I went and I looked at my old save file, and I did not have the Nintendo coin, which means that that blocked me from being able to beat the game as a kid. I never got that. I got to this door, and I must have just been blocked, and I never got past it, dude. But today, we are going to get past this crud. We've already got those coins. Let's open it up. And right inside, the final two banana fairies. But these are special ones, because we have to take a picture of both at the same time to get them. You can't do one than the other. We have to wait for them to get together. Ah, that was, <laughs> that was really bad. Okay, we'll try this one again. We have to get them both at the same time here. Oh, there we go. Second try. That was not too bad, actually. So there it is, guys. That is 20 out of 20. Well done, Diddy. You've rescued all the fairies. Now come back and see me. All right, we'll come back and see you. But first, let's grab the final key. And with that, guys, this stage, Hideout Helm, is actually done. That's all we have to do here, man. So I'm going to go ahead and just uh, exit level. And yeah, we can take this warp right here to get back across. And I want to go over to Donkey and get that final blueprint turned in. Get the final blueprint, all 40, as well as get up to 200 golden bananas. So excited, man. We've been working very hard for this one, and it's finally coming together. Let's go on through. Of course, we're going to do this one back on DK Isles itself. So where do I want to drop down? How about right out the front? Whoa. Well, that'll put us right by Frantic Factory there. What if we drop down a little bit further? And right... Oh, gosh, get it. Get it, you crud. There we go. And there is Snide. So let's go in, guys. No goofy edits. Let's check out this animation one more time. The best animation in the game. There it is, everybody. 200 golden bananas. Let's go take a look at those blueprints. Take a very quick look, guys. You're only going to see the rainbow blueprints for a very brief amount of time. And then... Oh, maybe it didn't even show up at all. Well, they're all blue. Okay, we got all blue, guys. Lanky Kong has taken over. The blueprints are all blue now. It is completed. And now you can see right there we have a bonus. If we press C up, well, we get the... We get the privilege of replaying a bunch of mini games including beaver bother yeah however there's something very special we can do with this bonus menu we'll do that in just a moment but we do got to revisit that fairy real quick so let's go check that out come on tiny kong yeah only she's going to be able to make it in there without glitches so we'll use tiny kong here 
And we'll go take warp number five. This is a warp we don't really take very often. Let's go in. Let's go and shrink down and go inside and meet the fairy. I believe the first episode we saw this in, the only episode we went inside here was episode four. And now we're on 34, so 30 episodes later, let's go back inside. If we're going inside here, we can go talk to the big fairy, which I guess is actually a normal sized fairy. We just shrunk down. I don't know, man. Let's go talk to him. Tiny, oh, Tiny, you did it! You rescued all the banana fairies and have restored peace to Banana Fairy Island. Thank you. I can now reveal our secret. And for getting all 20 banana fairies, this door will open and reveal another golden banana. Tiny, thanks once again. Banana Fairy Kingdom is eternally grateful to you and your friends. But this is not just any golden banana, guys. This is a golden banana with a rare wear logo. Golden banana number 201. So you know how this is a 101% playthrough? Before we get this, it would only be 100%, but once we get this, the counter will go to 101. Let's grab it. And there you go. Tiny Kong is special enough to get a sixth DK Isles golden banana. Six out of five. And with that, guys, let's go back to Snide and check out that special thing with the bonus menu. I guess we'll just head out on this door here. Go on through. Yeah. Mission complete, Kong. Let's deal with K Rule now, shall we? Um, okay, Snide, but I want to go to the bonus menu, guys, and I'm going to press A and B at the same time, and something very special is going to happen. will transport us to a test map where we have another Donkey Kong right there. Just standing, blinking, ah, blinking. Look into his eyes. He blinks, dude. And his stance is actually higher than Donkey's normal stance. So uh, yeah, there he is, guys. And right over here, the final collectible in the game, another yellow balloon. <laughs> There we go, guys. We got 3,500 colored bananas from the regular stages. We got an extra three out of bounds, and now we got those 10 for a total of 3,513 colored bananas. But we're kind of trapped here now. We can't pause the game. If we try to walk off the ledge, we're just going to get warped back to where we already were. So there's no way out other than to reset. And the reason I wanted to wait to do this now instead of before we, uh, well, before we did Hideout Helm is I want to reset my game so that we can go and watch the DK rap again. Because a while ago I made an editing mistake and to make it up to you guys, I let you vote on whether or not I would do a dramatic reading of the DK rap in the finale. Well, today is the finale. I don't want to do this crud, but I'm going to do it because you guys voted on it. So, uh... Do me a favor, if you don't want to see the scrub, please skip ahead. It's going to be super cringy. I'm not a professional voice actor or audiobook reader or anything like that, dude. This is going to be awful, but I'm going to do it. So feel free to skip ahead and avoid the cringe. But if not, then uh, uh, here we go. So they're finally here, performing for you. If you know the words, you can join in too. Put your hands together. If you want to clap, as we take you through this monkey rap. Huh. Donkey Kong, he's the leader of the bunch. You know him well, he's finally back to kick some tail. His coconut gun can fire in spurts. If he shoots ya, it's gonna hurt. He's bigger. Faster and stronger, too. He's the first member of the DK crew. <sighs> this Kong's got style, so listen up, dudes. She can shrink in size to suit her mood. She's quick and nimble when she needs to be. She can float through the air and climb up trees. If you choose her, you'll not choose wrong. With a skip and a hop, she's one cool Kong. 
He has no style. He has no grace. This Kong has a funny face. He can handstand when he needs to and stretch his arms out just for you. Inflate himself just like a balloon. This crazy Kong just digs this tune. <sighs> Donkey Kong is here. He's back again, and about time too. And this time, he's in the mood. He can fly real high with his jetpack on, with his pistols out. He's one tough Kong. He'll make you smile when he plays his tune. But Kremlings beware, cause he's after you. <laughs> Donkey Kong. Finally. He's here for you. It's the last member of the DK crew. This Kong so strong, it isn't funny. Can make a Kremlin cry out for mummy. Can pick up a boulder with relative ease. Make crushing rocks seem such a breeze. He may move slow, he can't jump high, but this Kong's, I'm not saying that line. <sighs> Take it to the fridge! Walnut peanuts! Pineapple smells! Grapes, melons, oranges, and coconut chips! Oh yeah! Oh, oh yeah. Why am I uploading this to the internet? That was really bad. I'm only doing one take. I am not doing that again. Well, that was painful both mentally and physically, but we're gonna try to commentate the rest of this episode with no voice cracks, guys. No voice cracks. We didn't ruin it that bad. So let's go ahead and hop inside. And I want to mention real quick, guys, there are some more things we could do on the menu. We've got the mystery option right here, as well as Kong Battle. I thought about sneaking those into this episode, but it's already going to be so long. And I thought about doing it before the finale, but I didn't want to delay the cool stuff for another day. So we're going to basically have a bonus episode for the series. Will we were, we'll cover all this crowd. We'll cover it all. Oh, Donkey, are you shivering, bro? You poor little dude. Yeah, there's also some bonus animations. <laughs> bonus animation. There's just some animations that play during the opening here. But let's go back to adventure, guys. I want to show you something. If we go over to file number three, this was my test file. And on this file, I went out of my way to not grab the final banana. So the banana you saw me grab, number 201, that is the first time on this cartridge the game has ever been 101% completed. I made sure to avoid it just slightly on game three. So over here, game number two, 101%. I have had this cartridge sitting in my collection for over 20 years, and this is the first time it has ever been 101% completed. But we do need to go fight that boss still, so let's get back in, guys. We are not done yet, so we'll hop on in. And we're gonna go over to warp number one. We got key number eight from Hideout Helm. So let's go and save K Lumsy once and for all. The final key. In we go. Hey, buddy. <laughs> You're free. You're finally free. Oh, the happy dance, dude. He's so happy. The cage is lifted. I don't know who's lifting it, but I guess it's an automatic cage, you know, once you get those locks off. But let's get to some cutscene action.
my gosh, dude. K. Lums, he's supposed to be this giant, menacing Godzilla-like creature, but when he pops out his little head from behind the island and waves, it's so stinking adorable, man. We're gonna go over this way, guys. Take warp number one, and then right through here, we're gonna take warp number three. And this one will lead to, well, where that ship just crashed. So get ready, guys, because we have a very, very long boss fight ahead of us. Let's get in, guys. The final battle with King K. Rule themselves. Wish me luck on my throat. That stinking DK Rap Crow tore me up, bro. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the main event of the game! We bring you 12 three-minute rounds of boxing for the undisputed heavyweight championship of DK Isles! Brought to you this evening by Rare and Nintendo in association with K. Rule Enterprises! Introducing... The Kong Family! Versus King Crushal K. Rule! Judges at ringside are non-existent, and your timekeepers tonight will act in a fair and unbiased manner. in at a solid 800 pounds, I give you the Prime Primate! Alright guys, it is time for the final battle with King K. Rule themselves. First thing we need to do here as Donkey Kong in round one is dodge a few of these shockwaves. We get over these, some goodies will show up. And now we're gonna have some barrel blasting. So let's go and climb up to the top rope and hop inside. Wait for him to drop his guard, and then we'll go for a shot. Boom, there we go. The thing is guys, on each of these different rounds, we're gonna have to hit this guy four stinking times, dude. Let's go ahead and climb in. And now we have to wait for him to drop his guard, but he will try to trick us here. So let's not do it right away. Wait for it, wait for it. Okay, three, four, Five, there we go. So I believe for the first round it's four. After that second round, you have to wait for him to punch five times. And if I'm not mistaken, this next one, we're gonna have to wait for six punches. He's only gonna leave us a very small gap. It's three. Okay, actually it was just three. Let's try again here. Four, five. Okay, maybe my, maybe my count is off, guys. But, well, don't worry about that. We'll just uh, try to react to him showing his guard. So I guess at the very start on that third one, He'll go three and then you go right there. It's a small gap, but as long as you know it's coming, it's not too bad. Okay, oh, get inside there. Here we go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, go. So for that final round, you have to wait seven times and then you get him. That should be out for the count. We win, guys. King K. Rule is defeated. That was super easy. Oh, okay, they're ringing the bell already. And now, making his way into the ring, it's the champ of champs. In the red All righty, guys, time for Diddy Kong. Now this one, once again, we're gonna have to start by dodging. Most of these rounds are gonna start with a dodging phase. Woo, speaking of dodging, that was a very close one there. He's got like some boomerang fist or some crud. And after a while, the rocket barrel boost is going to show up right there. So let's go and hop inside. We're going to have infinite crystal coconuts, so we don't have to worry about that. But he will keep throwing stuff at us even while we're in the air. We have to fly around and shoot these light targets here, which are pretty hard to aim at, but I'll do my best here. So I kind of just like to uh, get lined up and then start spamming shots while I slowly descend. And that usually works. 
And once we get that guy, he'll move on to this side. And now we're going to have to shoot at this one instead. So we have to drop all four lights on his head. Oof, barely dodged that one. This guy's normally a pretty good shot. He'll hurt you quite a bit there. But on the bright side, between rounds, as we swap Kongs, we will get healed back up. So as long as we don't actually die on this round, we're going to be just fine. Let's try to get lined up with this next one. Should be right about there. Yep, already got that one. So we lined up pretty well. Oh, never mind. I was shooting too soon. It didn't even show up yet. Thought I had it, but apparently not. We got that one. Somehow I have avoided all damage. I normally get hit a lot during this part. Let's see if I can get this last one here. Oh, there we go. I got my first bit of damage on myself, but we're fine. It, it doesn't knock you out of your crud or anything like that, so we're, we're fine here. I'm going to go on over to the last one. See if we can get this crud here. Come on, show up. There we go. That one I think showed up there. Yeah, so we hit this last one, and round two is over. Honestly, it made pretty good time on that one. Dude, the guys on the side are just taking a nap. Come on, dudes. Got your little bow tie and your little vest. He boasts the longest reach currently in the world today. Introducing... Okay, we are our dude Lanky Kong. Personally, I kind of always considered Tiny Kong to be Kong number three, but, well, it kind of goes back and forth with which Kong is which number in the game. I guess technically Lanky Kong is number three and Tiny Kong is number four, but hard to tell considering you both get them in the same, you get both of them in Angry Aztec. So for this one, guys, we have very, very stretchy arms. We have to punch these buttons off to the side. Once you punch them, a banana barrel will appear. We grab that one, grab it. And once we grab it, some trombone stuff will appear, which is why I was joking earlier in the, the episode about playing trombone a lot. So now that we have that one out there, we have to get this guy in between us and the banana. Or, yeah, yeah, we have to get him on the other side. And once he's on the other side, we play that trombone, and he'll start running at us. But because the banana's in the way, then he's going to slip on it. So that is one point of damage. Yeah, it's pretty ridiculous. Lanky Kong's portion is not very intuitive, but that is what you have to do here. Go ahead and get this next one. Hit that switch. Go grab some barrel here. Throw it on the floor. And then we'll go get ourselves on a music pad. And he turned the correct way, which is great. So we'll get him lined up. And I'm very glad that the round timer does seem to stop during the music portion. Unlike inside Hideout Helm. I mean, Hideout Helm, we had so much time it didn't really matter. But here we've only got a few minutes, so it would matter a huge deal. Let's go ahead and hit that switch. Yeah, I'm doing okay here, but sometimes these switches can actually be really hard to hit. And that one, unfortunately, did not drop in a good spot. So we're going to try and get the other one here instead. Yeah, if you mess up, you can just go hit a different one. And the banana will eventually despawn. Let's try again here. Oh, this guy's ruining my whole day. Come on, guy. Hit that switch. There we go. Yeah, that could be really awkward to hit sometimes. Throw it out there. Looking good. So let's go get up on this way. And hopefully he'll go the correct way. He does. And there we go. And looks like the other one has respawned as well. So we'll just have to walk over there and get it again. Yeah, if he hits you, it's going to make you drop it. And if it's right on the edge, maybe if you get things perfectly, you could call him over to it. But chances are you're better off just, uh, well, trying again if you uh, accidentally drop it right on the ledge like that. Let's go throw it into the center. Now we've got to go over to this side. Whoa! Yeah, if he runs onto it when he's not getting called over by the music, for some reason he doesn't even slip. So you have to play the music to get this to work here. And there we go, guys. That should be it for Linky Kong's portion as well. Still have to go through two more Kongs. So as you can see, this is a very long fight. I mean, they did say at the start that it's going to be 12 rounds. That was round number three.
Coming all the way from DK Isles, it's the girl with the whirl. Um, it's Ponytail Twirl. Thank you very much. Not Ponytail Whirl. Come on, dude. Well, here we go, guys. Round number four. And as always, we're going to start off with some dodging. And we're going to need to use that Ponytail Twirl to get over these because those are some big shockwaves. Go just like that. After a while, this dude's butt's going to start hurting. Oh, hey. Hey, you want to go? I'll... I'll, uh, play a music. No, I can't actually do that. Can you imagine you can just play the music and defeat King K. Rule that easily? Now what we have to do is dodge a whole lot, and there we go. Now we'll get that Tiny Kong Barrel showing up. We can shrink on down, and you might notice his foot. His shoe has a hole in it, so we can go inside and start tickling his toes. I love this portion. It's so ridiculous and fun. So you just have to dodge. When they wiggle, that means it's time to sidestep. Just like that. And eventually one of them will kind of flip upwards, just like that, and then you can shoot it. So we have to go through that for each individual toe. It's so silly, but yeah, this is my favorite of the rounds in this fight because it's just so ridiculous. So once again, just got to do some dodging here. The shockwaves are pretty ridiculous. But more ridiculous is this guy's fists, man. When he walks by, sometimes it doesn't even look like he's going to hit you, but he'll just smack you. Okay, there we go. His butt is hurting. Let's get inside. Let's get in that shoe. Every time we go through this, it's going to get more and more difficult because the first time we only had to shoot the toe one time, but now we're going to have to shoot this toe two times. Oh, barely dodged that one. Okay, just watch for the wiggles. Good, so, oh, I walked back into it. Okay, that's fine. So, yeah, we're going to shoot that one one time, but now we have to dodge again to shoot it a second time. And you can imagine, as we get deeper in, we're going to have to dodge for three rounds and then for four rounds. So, and yeah, this crud gets pretty wild. There we go. Halfway done with that foot there. Get back out and keep on dodging. The shockwaves are really not that bad as long as you know to ponytail twirl. If you try to dodge them more, more normally, then yeah, that's going to be a, a disaster. The hard part, the thing that might kill you on this one, is more likely going to be him walking by and just smacking you in the face with his glove or the toes when you're inside of his foot. But considering we have three melons, yeah, we're doing pretty good. I mean, because we've, you know, collected three melons from candy throughout the game, it's not as bad. If you tried to get here with only one melon, this would probably be a very, very difficult section. Let's go inside, and let's get to dodging. Okay, dodge the side there. Oh! And by the way, the game, at this point, locks you in a side-to-side -side movement, so you can only move left and right, which really helps out a lot, actually. It makes the controls here a lot easier. We can't actually walk forward and backwards here. Oh, almost walked back into that one. Okay. Flip up, you crud. Hey, there's number two. We have to hit that one one more time. Just wait for it. Come on, you toe. Eh. Where is it? Flippy! No! I got hit. That's fine. I lost one of my melons. Yeah, I mean, if I was trying to do some kind of challenge run where I never bought melon upgrades, then I would have just died. Yeah, this is not some kind of damageless challenge or anything like that, guys. I just want to beat the game. I mean, technically, we already did get 101%, but you can't just stop before fighting King K. Rule. Go ahead and once again dodge these shockwaves, the easy part of the fight. We'll get to that final round against that toe. Oh, don't you run at me. Oh, he almost got me right there. There it is. Oh, come on, get in there. This is the final one. As long as we don't somehow get damaged eight times while we're in here, we'll be just fine. And at the very start, when it first puts you in, it always puts you in a spot where the toe is not going to wiggle, so it doesn't it doesn't do a cheap shot on you or anything like that. There's the first hit. Got lots more to go here. Oh boy, I got hit by that one. All right, still got seven HP though. I think it's gonna flip up here. And there it is. Okay, two shots down. Uh, okay. Come on, just flip the toe up. Can you just flip it up over and over? That'd be much more convenient for me. One more, one more and this round is done. So yeah, this round does take quite a while. It is a long one, but it's still really fun. We get to this last one. We are good to go. There it is, guys. So round four is done. And I know the game says 12 rounds. It's actually... I just burped. It's actually five rounds. So one more round to go and we win. Tipping the scales at a mighty 2,000 pounds, he's the hard-hitting... Right. 
Wait, does Chunky Kong weigh as much as a Snorlax? I don't even remember how much Snorlax weighs, but I'm pretty sure it's only like 1,200 pounds as Chunky Kong. Gosh dang, man. Well, this time is, in my opinion, the hardest of all of the rounds. It's not the longest, but definitely the most challenging. So what we have to do here is go and smack this button right there. And now we're going to have all of these different invisible pads. We have to go and yoink one of those crods. Now we can see him, but we have to go hunky chunky. And the thing that's tricky is not this part. This part's not too bad, but once we get inside, guys, we have to time a primate punch. You have to do it pretty late. If you do it too early, it's not going to work out here. So primate punch. Okay, not too bad. The first few times I tried this fight, I kept doing it way too early. If you do it too early, he's going to uppercut you. It's not going to be a good time. So there's one round down. Let's go over and hit the switch once again. Yeah, you can notice this guy is kind of invisible, but you've got the shadow, so it's really not too hard to dodge him. Up we go. Here we go. Round number two. Oh, got him. Now, round number three, he's going to go invisible. We'll still see the shadow, but the tricky thing about round three is he's going to try to cheap shot you. He's going to go very quickly, so immediately after, we have to be ready for it. You don't want to be mashing or anything like that. You still have to time it, but yeah, it's going to be pretty shortly after we uh, get to the uh, get to the punching phase. We're going to have to go for the primate punch. Let's get inside. Get ready for it. Get ready for it. And that was too soon. That was too soon. Okay, so early, but not that early. So we will get hit by that uppercut right there. It's okay. We'll just try again. It will shrink us back down, though. So we have to go through the whole routine again. Oh, he walked right on me. Oh, my gosh. He went to the exact spot I was at, but somehow I dodged him there. Okay. So quick, but not that quick. And there we go. Much better. So three punches down. One more to go. If we land this punch on King K. Rule, guys, we will have officially defeated Donkey Kong 64. Let's do it, dude. Hit that switch one more time. The final Invisipad is in this corner here. Grab it. Let's go for it. He's going to try to trick us, but we're not going to be tricked. We will not be tricked. Let's go. Final punch. And... Got him! There we go, guys! Donkey Kong 64 is completed!
there are the credits. What an incredible game this is, man. I love this game so much. And I really can't express how special it is to me that after all these years, having this game from my childhood, getting to share it with you guys, and not only that, but getting to share my first time ever actually completing a file on this cartridge with you guys. It has been such a treat. And you guys have been so wonderfully sweet and supportive and just so incredible to me during the series. I really appreciate you guys. Everyone who's left such nice comments and supported the series. You guys are the best. It is awesome. And well, I guess with this one, guys, we're going to go ahead and wrap up another adventure. We will have one little bonus episode coming soon, showing off the multiplayer portion as well as that mystery menu. But for the main game, it is done. So thank you all so much for watching this series. I really hope you've enjoyed this one. And until our next adventure, take care.
Next. <laughs> 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 